Hey everybody, uh, it'll be a quick video. Uh, we have a Schlage LFIC, it's a Primus in there. I think it's actually a GMS housing. I have no keys for this at all. It's on a closed down business. Uh, of course, front door has Primus, back door has a regular Schlage C keyway, so I was able to go on the back door and then just replace this. Uh, I'll do a quick video though on how to get this core out of here, which might help some lock sport people if you ever buy these without keys and want to progressive pin them or something. Uh, so basically, Yes, another uh, LFIC, just regular keyway here. Got our control key, which is just the tip of it. It's just uh, black background here so things show up. You know, the tip on the uh, control key there is just a little bit, a little bit longer than you know an operating key, and so it just activates a little pin the back and it's able to come out so that's how it normally would work with a control key now when they drill these they you know they drill a hole all the way through and then it goes into a hole in the housing over here which um is what and then there's a little uh you know this little spring-loaded pin right here that just goes into that hole and that's what just keeps the uh core and everything in there so you want to get one of these out without a control key and you can't pick it because maybe it's Primus and you don't have a Primus rake or want to even deal with it. Uh, what you can actually do is you just drill a hole on the other side and you can actually just push the pin here. So I have a 964 drill bit and um, you don't have to go in very deep. You only, you know, about, just mark the drill bit here. I got this going up into the hole touching the uh, cylinder. So I really only need to go to right there. And where we're going to be drilling will just be, you know, basically just straight across and about right, about right here is where we're going to be drilling. And then we should be able to actually just uh, stick a probe or something in there and uh, push a little pin in and get the core out. So uh, you definitely don't need a drill press to do this, but I never get to use my drill press, so I'm going to use it. So let me relocate to that and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we got our uh, 964 drill bit set up here and I'm just going to freehand it. And I said you don't have to go very far. Got a little mark on the drill bit there. It's, you know, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or so quarter of an inch, not very far at all. So there's our hole they drill all the way through. We're gonna to go to the opposite side. And um, just have at it real quick here. Make sure I'm lined up how I need to be. Should be, should be good right there. see here that I should be able to actually push a little pin in now and get the uh, core out so I'll run back inside and we will uh, give it a shot all right so back into the air conditioning here uh, there's our hole that we drilled and we just need a poke tool or something to uh, just go in there and push a little detent in and voila core comes right out so then you can uh, shim it open or whatever you want to do uh, progressive pin it, whatever, and you can still reuse the shell to show you that a uh, you know it still still works. You know I've never actually reused one working because there's no no reason to, but if uh, you know it's lock sport thing or something like that, certainly nothing wrong with it. And you see it still uh, still works. So uh, questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like content like this, uh, subscribe, share, and all that fun stuff. And um, uh, trying to think, I guess I uh, don't really have anything else for this video. So until next time, well, I'll talk to everybody later.